Hello again, this is Robertson Miller with another epoxy project. This time it's not a tabletop, it's a uh, lamp stand. My father was in the airline business and uh, he had this lamp that was made from a uh, uh, airplane propeller and he was very proud of it and I inherited it from him many years ago and uh, um, but unfortunately, it was mounted on a really ugly Formica-based platform that was so ugly I just couldn't stand to look at it and uh, was tempted to throw the lamp away. Um, but then when I got started on epoxy projects for tables, I, it occurred to me I could make a new base for it, and that's what I'm doing here. Um, the base is made out of small rounds of pine wood mixed with a turquoise colored epoxy uh, and then a clear coat of about three inches deep of epoxy uh, and the airplane propeller was suspended from a ladder which you will see in a minute uh, and then I poured the clear coat into the mold which you can see is happening right now. I poured this clear coat, uh, super clear epoxy, uh, deep pour, about three inches deep. And when it cured, it's super strong and that propeller is not going anywhere. On the old platform, it was uh, mounted by a, a bolt through the bottom of the platform into the propeller. And when I tried to unscrew that bolt, it just broke off. Um, but the just hanging it in epoxy worked much better. The propeller is about an eighth of an inch above the uh, pine wood uh, in there, so uh, uh, you can actually see underneath of it when you look through the side of it. Uh, there was uh, a lot of air in this wood, which I intentionally did not seal so that uh, the air bubbles would leak out and epoxy would leak in, strengthening this old pine wood, which was actually kind of rotten wood. It had been outdoors for uh, about three years. And I brought it in and cut it up. And here you can see uh, air bubbles leaking out of it. Here's my two current projects, the lamp on the left and a large table on the right. A, a river table. So here you can see the uh, propeller suspended from the ladder. Uh, I was thinking when I was going to hold use epoxy to hold the propeller, I thought, well, how am I going to secure the propeller while I'm waiting for the epoxy to cure? And then I had the idea of literally hanging it from the ladder. And that worked out quite well. This is about three days later when the epoxy was uh, fully cured. It was a little bit of a challenge to get out of the mold, but it came out. And there's the new platform, uh, much prettier than the old platform. This is right out of the mold before any finishing work is done. I mixed in uh, phosphorus in the uh, blue uh, uh, epoxy so that it glows at night, glows in the dark. Now it's time to do some uh, finishing on it. And after sanding all around and then recoating with uh, tabletop epoxy, there you can see the final result. It, I think it's very pretty. They had a couple of bubbles uh, suspended in the uh, clear coat, the clear pour, which uh, I actually thought it was kind of pretty. I liked it. There's the old base. You can see how ugly that thing was. You can see in the center where the propeller was. And this old platform was so ugly I couldn't stand to look at it. Now the new lamp needs a new lamp shade. And uh, credit to other people who posted on YouTube. I got the idea for making a uh, lampshade out of epoxy. Uh, watching other people's... Uh, YouTube videos. So I just 
chose a bunch of wild colors. This is tabletop epoxy I'm using, uh, super clear. This reminds me of uh, the patterns we used to make at the uh, carnival when I was a little kid, and they uh, would you'd sp pour paint on a spinning whiteboard and, and make those uh, color shapes. The uh, image shown just a minute ago is the the mold that I'm hanging the uh, the lampshade over right now. This is after about six hours of curing time, so that the Epoxy is still soft, but not moving anymore. You can see all those wild colors. And it's, it was poured onto a sheet of uh, plastic. And uh, I used some mold release on that plastic before I did the pour, so uh, that sheet came off quite easily. Here's the uh, new lamp in the house now with the new uh, base. It's actually uh, very nice looking. Those little white specks uh, are dust reflecting off of it. Here's the plastic sheeting coming out of the lampshade. Then I had to trim it up a little bit too where some plastic went where I didn't want it to go. Uh, needed to drill a hole in the top of it for uh, mounting it. Was easy. There's my uh, mounting hole and here it is uh, in the window in the house with a wild lampshade. And it turned out my wife didn't like it so I tried it another way. I, I trimmed it and turned it upside down and hung it like that. And then after that went for the more traditional lampshade. So there's three options there. Uh, tell me in the comments uh, which you like best. And uh, please give me a like and a subscription. Uh, there's more coming. Thank you. Goodbye for now.